Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 265, Token Endpoint. For more complex Power Pages implementations, you may run into a scenario where you need to make a call to an API other than the Power Pages web API. This can happen if you're looking to integrate with an external web service, or if you need access to Dataverse operations not available via the Power Pages web API. When calls to other APIs are done via JavaScript, generally you need a way to ensure that those calls can be made securely. Usually, the APIs require some sort of authorization sent along with the request to ensure that not just anybody can call them. Hard coding API keys into your JavaScript is usually a bad idea, so instead, Power Pages facilitates this type of architecture by providing a service where you can request a token that can then be passed to the API to validate who the user is. Documentation for the service is found under the OAuth 2.0 Implicit Grant Flow heading. First, you need to upload a custom certificate via the Power Platform Admin Center, and then set its thumbprint in the Custom Certificates forward slash implicit grant flow site setting. With the certificate in place, in your JavaScript, you can make a post request to slash underscore services slash auth slash token. The response to this request will be a token that if you decode, you'll see it contains the ID of the currently logged in contact. When you pass this token to the API, the API can then use the public key, available at slash underscore services slash auth slash public key, to ensure that the token is valid. And if so, it can trust that the contact contained in the token is the one making the request. Microsoft provides sample code for calling the token web service. In our next tip, we'll look at the most common way to leverage that token endpoint, a companion app. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 265 on Token Endpoint useful.